Great morning, everyone. Well, um, apparently Trump is going to the courts now and saying, um, I cannot secure the bond. Uh, help, you know, I don't have the money. They, they want money. They don't want to the assets, etc. And I can't get a bond. So let's, I'm going to start with the Lenormand, my Lenormand deck. And let's just ask what's going on here. Now he did get Chubb to, to secure the other one with assets. And it sounds like he tried to go back to them again for this other bond. And uh, apparently he's saying, they're saying no. It's, uh, yeah, he's struggling with this. He is absolutely struggling with it uh, because of his divergent path. You know, people are, um, they don't trust him. Okay. He is not trustworthy. And if you're going to do a bond, you have to have uh, put up property, etc. that doesn't have a lien on it. You don't owe anything. It's free and clear. Uh, or the mon money or other types of assets. Uh, and he's telling the courts, I, I don't have it. Nobody will work with me. Okay. So what we have going into this, this is part of the community, what's happening with the community. Um, okay. So um, <clears throat> in the past, we have people are waking up to what's going on with him. What's going on now is this new thing that he's out there talking about the challenge is friends uh community he's looking to friends community somebody to give him this new thing the outcome is yeah no he's got the millstone around his neck that is grinding him into the ground at the moment so let's go ahead and look at the foundation of this uh at the heart of it with the community, etc., we have uh, the uh, now. I don't know why it's the younger population are looking at him uh, and his financial things. Maybe this has to do with companies he's trying to go to. They're looking at his work ethics, the drama. Uh, and people that have worked with him before, okay, it's, it's saying, you know, people are waking up to this new thing with him and seeing what's going on. And uh, the challenge is he's got this millstone around his neck when it comes to his business practices, etc. So let's see what's above it. His history, yeah. His history dealing with the community at the heart of it. He doesn't pay creditors. He doesn't pay his lawyers. He screws the people he still owes from how many of these rallies that he's done that he didn't pay the bills for them. Okay. So they know the history of this. Uh, it's being cut. And... Yeah, when it comes to the people, they see what he's done and the direction underneath of it, the direction that this is going. So, you know, you did this divergent path. You've been a criminal all this time. Now you're struggling. Nobody wants to deal with you. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to put these away and we're going to get the tarot and just see what the Tarot has to say on this. But the Lenormand was pretty clear. We know your history. You don't pay creditors. You didn't pay for your rallies. Uh, you don't pay your lawyers. Why the 
hell would we give you a bond for, for half a billion dollars? Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and get the cards and see what they have to say. What can you tell us about Trump and his bond and his whining to the courts now? You know, when uh, Alina Appa was out there, I'm sure he could put up the money. He's a billionaire, no problem. He's got it. Yeah, deer caught in the headlights. <laughs> So what we have above it, this is coming rapidly now to its time where he has to put the bond up. And underneath of it, is this just yet another attempt at a manipulation? You know, because he always says, I'm the king of debt. I never pay what they want. Okay? I never pay what they want. Is this yet another attempt at manipulation? to get it lowered, that he thinks he is just so smart that he can manipulate the courts and say, well, well, I can give you a smaller one, but I can't get the, you know, let's see. At the center of it, we have this is moving forward, okay? Um, now, in the past, we have, yeah, he's abused his power. He's, he's abused it. He's railroaded people, okay? What's going on now is, again, his, uh, his stance. He's going to put this out, unmoving um, drama. The challenge is going forward. How is he going to go forward with the outcome of... Uh, this is this is charging forward quickly, okay? Mentally, this is screwing with him on how he's going to move forward, okay? So let's see what it says for the foundation. Center of the foundation is his world, and the world is watching, and this is, again, consuming his world. Going into it, these are the choices he's made, Okay, he chose to be abusive. He chose to brag about how he doesn't pay taxes. He's so smart to get around all of these things, okay? And so the um, more the outcome is the light is being shed. Now, these are all three major arcana that are in the foundation of it, okay? These are the choices you made in life that are coming to light now. So let's see what's above it. At the center of it, we've got the burden going on now. Okay. In the past, you know, and going into it, yeah. He talked about how wealthy he is, you know, his family, his business, the Trumpian empire, his brand. <laughs> that he got by abusing power, okay, railroading people, etc. And the outcome now is what? Uh, yeah, very painful. And underneath of it now, he is going to be out in the cold, okay? He's again trying rapidly to bring in some or other sort of a manipulation, but it's not working. He's out in the cold. Yeah. Uh, again, this is, this is going forward. The foundation is rocking his world because of the choices he's made in the past. And now the outcome and the challenge, all this is coming to light his big braggadocious self about what a great businessman he is, you know. So above it, we have the burden of the Trumpian empire, which is now facing what? Okay. Now it's facing the pain and the drama of what underneath of it all, out in the cold when it comes because why above it all? 
rapidly he's tried to manipulate the system over and over and over again. So the center of it, this is moving, going into it. Uh, what's going on now? Again, he's resistant. He's, uh, and uh, the challenge is how to go forward. You know, he always wants to try to maintain control and with his drama, etc. But the fact is, going into it in the past, we've had his abuse of power, and now the outcome is that this is moving, and it's moving quick, and it is, um, you know, the harsh light of truth is coming down on his head, and his brain is fried and just absolutely in spin mode. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave that here. I think the cards have uh, really spoken. We'll, we'll see what comes out of it. But according to the Lenormand and the Tarot, they're on to his game. You know, he's bragged so often about how he's, he's smarter than any of them. I'm the king of debt. I don't actually pay vendors. I don't actually pay lawyers. I don't actually pay the debt. I'll run it up and then I'll file bankruptcy, whatever, leave everybody in the lurch. I'll take them to court forever and sue them and offer them pennies on the dollar. I've ruined so many people's businesses and I don't give a rat's ass because I'm so smart. I'm such an intelligent businessman. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so on that note, I'm going to leave that here and we'll see you online.